Sarah Court, Monday morning. Now, does giving your child pocket money teach them valuable life lessons or will it just mean they blow it on Maccas and iTunes and never think of it again? Good questions. Child psychologist Sally Ann McCormack is here to explain the pitfalls and pleasures of pocket money. Welcome back, Sally Ann. Yes. Put my my you put little, little money box there. there. Yes. Yeah, it's a money um, box. How much pocket money should we be giving our kids? Well, that actually really depends. I read somewhere that said that. $8.15 is the average that Australian children get for uh, their weekly pocket money. I was really stingy. Mine got $5 and in fact in primary school got 50 cents but apparently I'm the cruelest mum on the planet. Uh, a lot of people give 10. It really depends. There's different views. Some people give weekly budgets mm -hmm. for different things such as you know a clothing allowance mm -hmm. and you know for outings and those sorts a of clothing... things. Hang on a second. Go back to this. Yeah. Clothing allowance. What's that mean? To actually budget... How for... old? Well, for se um, secondary school children, mm. so a lot of parents do, they actually give a budget. Some people give $50, $100, I've heard, for some families, where they pay for everything except food, education and medical. Once you've established an amount, whether it's $20 or $10 or $100, yep. Should you should the child get that anyway, or do they have to work for it? Right. And now we get down to the most contentious issue when it comes to pocket money. I've just had a discussion in the green room with um, your money man, Sam Henderson, mm -hmm. and we have agreed to disagree, or, or we haven't actually disagreed, but we've had a chat about whether you do have a baseline of money. A, a financial person's view is often that, you know, to develop a good work ethic, that it's a good idea to work for everything that you earn. Mm. My view is if your purpose is to teach budgeting, if it's, you know, it depends what your goal is as a mm. parent, that you get a baseline of money anyway. So you get, you know, a small amount. Then if you need to supplement that amount, and so, um, so if you want to need to supplement that amount, you can do chores around the house. Right. So $10, the, no questions asked a yeah. week. If you mow the lawn, it's an extra five. And for me, no one has ever paid me to clean my toilet or mm. make my bed. So those things in some fa in families where we choose to do this is an expectation. You know, mm. I'm sorry, I'm not going to pay you to put your dishes on the sink. Uh, that you is my do it expectation. Anyway. Yeah, I never got paid yeah. to yeah. clean the house. I just had to clean the house. Yeah, absolutely. Can I so that's, the, that's the dispute mm, in that's the interesting. pocket money. Yeah, it is area. that is a tricky one. The mm -hmm. other tricky one I find is with I've got two daughters, one's nine and one's seven, and I don't give them any pocket money. If they want to buy something, we can discuss it mm -hmm. and then we can filter what is crap and they shouldn't spend their money on or my money on and, and it's it's kind of an ongoing dialogue. Mm. Recently, Denise gave them 50 bucks, which they split between them and they took on school holidays. Yeah. I picked them up from the airport yesterday and they went, oh, I spoiled myself so bad on holidays <laughs> with that money. So they just blew it on lollies and, and toys. The rule in our house was that you <laughs> couldn't buy food idea. with the pocket money. And the reason for that was I said that that was my responsibility. I'm the one that, that buys the food. You can't buy it. Because I was giving the 50 cents or the $5, whichever age they were. And they were just going straight to the supermarket. Mm, yeah. um, having said that, in secondary school, going for coffees or juices after school is actually quite common. It is a social event. So yeah. the $5 went towards that. I was the meanest mum on the planet because you know everyone else had more money than that. But my children were then able to do extra chores around the house if they so choose. Mm. And, you know, that was up to them. As parents, are we supposed to police what they spend it on? I, again, it depends on your purpose of the budget. So for some people, they actually say, no, I'm not going to. So, so part of having money, part of getting pocket money, is mm. really not being able to afford some of the things that you want. Mm. So if you waste it on chocolates or lollies or whatever it is that you might waste it on, you actually aren't going to be able to afford mm. those new shoes mm. that you might have wanted or that outing with a friend. So, so and really, there's the lesson. Bang. Exactly. Mm. So then can I ask you about what I liked was one of your don'ts was that you can't take money away from the child once you've given it to the child, even yeah. if they misbehave. Why is that? Well, if you think about us, for any of us that, that work, which we all work, uh, you know, we can't, we don't have our money taken away from us if we don't do the right thing or if we do something wrong. So you guys are going to get paid today, whether you say something great or something not so great today, you're still going to get paid But we mightn't be here tomorrow. You may not be here tomorrow and that's a different, that's a different story. Well, but, but really you're going to get paid anyway. And so the fines, again, it comes down to your purpose 
of the pocket money, mm -hmm. if you want to put in place fines, if you also want to put in place loans, I, I, I do not think that's a good idea at I all. I don't think so either. Because then you've got children living on the never never and we know statistically the amount of adolescents, sorry Denise, but the amount of adolescents that have, you know, that are buying themselves televisions mm -hmm. on credit cards and, and all those this things is that they the can't problem. afford. Yep. In my day we, you put something on lay by and you paid it off yep. and then you got it. Yeah. This day and age you get it before you've even paid for it yeah. and I think that's the biggest problem we've got as adults and that's what the credit yeah. card now before we billions go, we owe. And that's it, exactly what I agree with you, that's exactly what's wrong with this, we all want it now. We've got yeah. some really quickly before we go your tips um, for okay. pocket money. Yes, and they would be get a piggy bank or open a bank <laughs> account. So I've got one of these here. Some people actually separate them into three. You might actually have uh, a savings one uh, and, you know, one for... Mm. Um, Sorry, I've got to get through these quickly. Uh, help them to budget, set a, set a weekly amount and not always having enough is part of the lesson. And one of the banks are uh, equaling what the kids put in at the moment. If they open an account, if okay. they... Yeah, yep, yep. I can't remember the details. Yeah. Well, they say set Someone aside will savings... Sorry, just to quickly clarify that. Set aside savings or set aside money that they can actually spend for the now. And some people even say have a third money box, which is for charity as well. Wow. And also oh, get one that's not so easy to prise open the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have a bottom. Oh, dear. Oh, Please oh, thank Sally Ann McCormack. <laughs> thank you. And you know your kids got the better of you with their pocket money when they announce that they only accept PayPal and Visa. <laughs>